Well, they say Detroit needs better leadership and it can't wait until the next election. Today, a group including several of his biggest foes have submitted a petition to recall Mayor Duggan. Rod Maloney joins us live tonight. Uh, the first step in what would be a very long process, Rod. Well, Devin, Kimberly, yeah, it's a, a long process and designed to be. Now, here's the thing. It was a Detroit man who, uh, ha he has buyer's remorse tonight because he actually voted for Mike Duggan back in 2017. And now his name is Franklin Long, has filed that petition to get him out of office. I believe in you. You're a fraud, you're a crook. You need to be exposed. You can't threaten me, you can't, you can try to threaten me, I'm not going nowhere. Franklin Long's turning point stems from Detroit's homelessness, he says, in particular people forced from their homes because of $600 million in overassessed taxes. He calls it an abusive tax policy. It's sad. We trust in this mayor. And this is what he did to us. He refused to give him the money back, refused to give him tax credit. Working with Long is well-known Duggan critic and nemesis, Detroit businessman Robert Carmack. I think that uh, we need to uh, uh, remove him as quick as possible, and I would put up the money to get rid of him, no matter how much it costs. I would raise the money to get rid of him. So we went to Mayor Mike Duggan today, and he said the recall is pretty much ho-hum stuff, and also misstates the issue. I was the one that stopped the overassessments. So the overassessments started in 2010. When I ran for mayor in 2013, I campaigned for against that overassessment all across the city. The mayor believes this group is simply against Proposal N that would increase vacant home demolition funding. They have been angry since the results came in in 2017. Uh, and this is the third time now they've announced a recall petition. So here's the thing, the uh, Election Commission meets on the 27th of October, and there may be a problem here because the recall law says that the offenses that are committed have to happen within the time frame of the current administration, which would have dated back to 2017, but those tax reassessments happened between 2010 and 2015. But should the Election Commission give the green light to this, they have 60 days to gather petition signatures. Back to you. And the number of signatures required in that time, Rod? 47,500, Devin, is the exact number, but you know when they do these kinds of things, they'll probably need to collect something closer to 60,000. Yeah, exactly, because you're going to have some disqualified along the way. All right, Rod.